Hey everyone! Welcome back to IT Insider. Today, we'll be exploring Easy Worship 7, a versatile software used for creating presentations in church services and other events. We'll walk you through the basics, including adding songs, scriptures, and media. Let's get started. When you open Easy Worship 7, you'll see several key sections. The resource area on the left includes tabs for songs, scripture, media, and presentations. The schedule area is where you build your playlist for the service. Click on the songs tab in the resource area, then click on the plus button to create a new song entry. For example, let's add the song Amazing Grace. Enter the song title and then type or paste the lyrics into the editor. To format the text, you can adjust the font size and style in the Inspector panel on the right. You can also set up a background image or video for the song by clicking on the Be Backgrounds tab and selecting your media. Next, let's add a scripture passage. Click on the Scripture tab in the resource area. You can search for a specific passage by selecting the book, chapter, and verse. For example, let's add John 3 verse 16. Once you've found the verse, double-click it to preview, or drag it directly into the schedule area. You can also add a background to the scripture slide in the same way as for songs. Now, let's add some media to our presentation. Click on the Media tab in the resource area. You can import images, videos, and audio files by clicking the Add button. For example, let's add a video loop for the worship background. Once imported, drag your media file to the schedule area. You can set the media as a background or play it as a standalone item. With our elements ready, let's build our service schedule. Drag your songs, scriptures, and media into the schedule area in the order you want them to appear. You can rearrange them by dragging and dropping. To present an item, select it in the schedule, and it will appear in the preview section. To make it live, double-click the item or click the Go Live asterisk asterisk button. The live panel will show what's currently being projected. And that's a wrap. We've covered the basics of using Easy Worship 7, from adding songs and scriptures to setting up media and running your service schedule. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to IT Insider for more tech tutorials and tips. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.